What's going on guys, Andrew Pillicocki here back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing something new that I've wanted to do for a little bit now and as the season is getting closer, I thought this would be a very fun video to do. We're going to be looking at who we think will score the most, the most goals in the NHL this season, of course the 1920 season. Now, I have a magazine in front of me. I'm actually I should look at the the cover because I want to give a proper shout out to it. The 1920 NHL Poolers Guide Hockey the magazine. Uh, I usually pick this up because they do like predictions. A lot of magazines do, but I don't buy all of them. I'll buy a couple of them, and I'm like, okay, you know what? This is this is something cool because we can look at the stats from last year and then bring up who we think will have the most goals for this upcoming season. They also have kind of a prediction in there too, so we'll check all that out, but I'm going to be giving my opinion, and I want you guys to do it. That's the point of this video. We're going to see who can get the closest uh, top three or top five, whoever you want to pick. Pick the players that you think will have the most goals and the total of goals for each player. So if it's Ovechkin and he scores, and you think he'll score 47, put him, him at number one and then number two and so on and so on. And then at the end of the season, we can check and see who got the closest. So, of course, I'm going to be starting off with goals, who will score the most. So last year, if we're looking at who scored the most goals in the league, uh, in 81 games played, Alexander Ovechkin scored 51. Not a big surprise. We're talking about maybe a... You guys can make that decision too. Is he the most lethal goal scorer of all time? I would, I would think he is. Um, who knows if he'll ever get to Gretzky's record of goals, but if he stays healthy and keeps scoring these 50-goal seasons, you never know. I honestly think it's possible he scores over 50 again this year. He's just a machine. Leon Dreisaitl was number two uh, with 50 goals and 82 games played. A great, great season for him. That contract is looking better and better every time. I know a lot of people weren't happy when he signed that deal. I was a little bit on the fence like, okay, that's a lot of money. But scored 50 goals and the Oilers are going to need more of that this year as they build towards trying to get back into the playoffs, which I don't think it's going to happen this year. John Tavares of the Toronto Maple Leafs was number three with 47 goals and 82 games played. A career high for him. Really good uh, for Tavares to get that going, and I think he has a chance to score 50 this year, depending um, on you know how well him and Marner play again. Uh, I think that they they have pretty good chemistry, and there's a really good chance he can match that. And number four was Steven Stamkos, a machine, another guy that can score. He has that wicked one-timer, and whenever he's in the slot, he's dangerous. And he had 45 goals last year, or so yeah, he had 45 goals um, in. 82 games, so he was healthy, and that's the best thing. We want Stammer to be healthy. At number five was Patrick Kane, and Patrick Kane had 44, which Patty Kane always finds a way to score goals. He's got some of the sickest hands in the league. I would expect him to be around the 40-goal mark again. And just going down the list, Nikita Kucherov, he scored 41. McDavid also scored 41. McKinnon had 41. Uh, Braden Point also had 41. There's a lot of people with 41 goals. The break at he broke out. That was really good for him. Cam Atkinson, that was huge. A bunch of goals for him. And there's a lot of guys in here like Skinner and Shifley and Pasternak, a guy and Pasternak doesn't get enough credit. 66 games played, and uh, he had 38 goals. I mean, with a full season, you never, you never know what that guy could have done. Uh, it's the same thing with Austin Matthews. In 68 games played, he had 37 goals. If these guys stay healthy, these are guys that can easily pot 50, in my opinion. They're pretty young as well, but... If we're looking at the, the outlook for this season, just some predictions here for goals. They have McDavid scoring 44 this year, Kucherov at 40. They have Drysaddle scoring 51 this year, which is huge. McKinnon at 43, Patrick Kane at 40 goals. Um, what else? They got 43 for Pasternak. I honestly think he can score more than that. Uh, and, I, and I'll get to that in a second. They have points scoring 41. They have Tavares scoring 45. They have Matthews scoring 48. And the list goes on and on. If you wanna, if you wanna check this out, uh, this is the magazine, uh, Hockey the Magazine. It's like the Pooler's Guide. But you know, just based off of what we've seen this year and a lot of the most you know lethal shots in the league. I wouldn't be surprised to see like guys like DeBrinkid and others, some of that, take a step back but still have a, a ton of goals. But we're going to see guys, if they can stay healthy, like a David Pasternak. I'm a Leaf fan, but I have a lot of respect for these guys. If Pasternak can stay healthy and he plays all 82, I honestly think he has a chance to score 50. I really do believe that. I also think if Connor McDavid is healthy, which uh, he might start the season injured, 
I, I don't understand like how he people are not predicting that this guy could have over 50 goals. I really believe 55 is not out of the question. McDavid is just one of those guys that you can't stop him. I would predict that McDavid's probably going to have like 55 goals this year. I think Pasternak could have 50. I think Matthews could score 50. I think Tavares will take a little bit of a step back. That prediction of 45 kind of makes sense to me. I can see him in the 43 to 45 range. Patrick Laine, this is a huge one. If he gets a contract done, and by the by the time you're watching this video, he may have a deal done. These RFAs have been all over the place. If if he gets a deal done, people were, were a little bit upset that I said that Laine could score 50 even on the second line. I mean, I really believe he can. Laine is one of those guys that creates opportunities for himself. He can score, and, by, and again, people are going to get mad that I say that too, but I mean goal-scoring opportunities. Laine is not just a guy that stands there and shoots the puck. He is a big frame, and if he decides to use it, he can definitely create opportunities for himself. And I'm not saying he's going to make rushes from the defensive zone, but hey, listen, he's a big dude. If he gets moving, there's not a ton of people that could really stop that guy. He's not that fast, but he's just a big body. He can protect the puck, and if he can get going this year and get a contract done... There's no question that I think that he can score a ton of goals. The same thing goes with Nikita Kucherov. This guy's just one of the best players in the league. He can play all over the ice, and I think that he's going to have a, an absolutely fantastic year. You can even toss, Bra toss Brad Marchand into that. If that Bergeron, Marchand, Pachnak line stays healthy, all three of those guys can score a bunch. Bergeron's more of the assist guy, but Marchand, that guy can pot goals. Look at the amount of points he had last year. And then Nathan McKinnon, another guy where... Guys, listen, Nathan McKinnon proved last year that he's a top five, top three type of player in the league. And 40 goals, not out of the question. The Colorado Avalanche could be better this year. I really do believe that they could. And it starts off with him, that big first line. they got to get Rantanen done to a deal, of course. I could be talking and, and deals being done right now. But listen, that guy's lethal, and he can score a bunch of goals. Uh, Braden Point. Now that he's got his deal done with a full season, uh, I'm pretty sure that he can be back in that, that goal range as well. That Tampa Bay team has a lot of shooters. They have a lot of scorers. And uh, I think that you know any of the guys that I mentioned have a really good chance. But I want to leave this up to you. This is for you guys to predict how many goals you know will be scored by your favorite players in the league this year who do you think will be leaders in the top five uh for the nhl this year for goals we'll come back we'll check it out see who got the closest i think it's a fun way to do it so if you're new make sure to subscribe i'd love to have more hockey conversations with you join the squad let's get to 7,000 subscribers and i'll see you in the next video or stream peace